हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक वी आर स्टडिंग अबाउट प्लानिंग इन इंडिया एंड दिस इज द सिक्स वीडियो ऑफ दिस लेसन टिल द प्रीवियस लेसन वी हैव स्टडीड टिल द फिफ्थ फाइव ईयर प्लान इन इंडिया दिस इज द ग्राफ दैट आई हैव बीन शोइंग यू इन द लास्ट टू थ्री वीडियोज सो वी हैव कवर्ड टिल दिस टाइम लाइन विच इज़ द फिफ्थ फाइव ईयर प्लान एंड ऑल्सो अबाउट दिस प्लान हॉलीडे ऑफ टू ईयर्स इन नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एट एंड एटी till the previous video from this video onwards we are going to see our journey further that after this two years how again the indian government started the five year plans from 1980 onwards so let us study the 6th 7th and the 8th five year plan in this video so the 6th five year plan was from 1980 to 1985 Uh, again during this period if we look at the political situation so uh, there was a fresh election and the indira gandhi government had again come back to power after the elections and uh, uh, then they again switched back to the uh, five year plans which was kind of aborted in the previous two years that we have seen in the previous videos so what were the focus areas or economic policies of this six five year plan uh one was poverty alleviation poverty alleviation has been there since the last one or two plans we have been seeing that uh in the very initial five year plans uh, uh the focus was more on industrialization self reliance uh, agricultural self production uh, but later on as we moved ahead our focus started on uh, how to reduce poverty how to reduce inequality how to make things accessible to the poor people also how to reduce rural poverty especially so again this focus area remained in the 6 5 year plan which is poverty alleviation uh, then we started talking about modernization and employment generation so basically employment generation is a means to reduce poverty again technology and modernization of industry this was one of the important and one new thing that was added into this 6th 5 year plan the key projects that were undertaken during this plan was one was integrated rural development program to increase the rural employment uh, then the second one was investment in heavy industries and technology intensive sector since we were moving towards modernization and one was expansion of the national road and rail network so we also started looking at our logistic sector so that our transportation is better and we can improve in our industrialization also so these were some of the key projects during this period now let us look at the achievements uh, one was that our growth rate increased to 5.5% which was more than the target of 5.2% for this year this was the average growth ro growth rate of this 5 years then the growth rates uh, uh, you know green revolutions second phase also uh, started during this period uh, and there was a significant expansion in agriculture the development of technology and telecommunication infrastructure this was these were some of the significant achievements during this time there are obviously some critics and failures one is that the public sector inefficiency and high fiscal deficit continue so in terms of fiscal deficits uh, we could not perform better because there was a lot of spending uh, on uh, you know on various schemes so we could not handle uh, um, our fiscal uh, deficit benefits of growth were not evenly distributed and poverty and unemployment still significant so although poverty alleviation was one of the important agendas but poverty still remained unemployment still remained so that see this has been a problem we are discussing all this just to understand how deep and how old and chronic this problems are in our system poverty and unemployment so that you will appreciate that this is not a recent phenomenon or Uh, this is something which has been there and it is very challenging to fight this and to basically uh, uh, you know increase employment in the economy and also to reduce poverty it has been a very very challenging task let us now move on to the next uh, five year plan which is a seventh five year plan from 1985 to 1990 uh, the focus area of this was uh, uh, to improve productivity modernization and self reliance improving efficiency in, in in agriculture and industry reduce fiscal deficit see now we are talking about fiscal deficit here emphasized on mixed economy now till this point of time we were focusing more on a socialist kind of model where everything was state controlled 
now we are talking about the mixed economy model where we are giving some role to the private sector also so this was early privatization this period of 1985-1990 this was the early privatization period and during this period already the government had changed you should know that uh, in 1984 the indira gandhi uh, government uh, was dissolved because indira gandhi was assassinated and uh, the new government had come so uh, we started focusing on uh, you know uh, uh, private sector also uh, this was the early privatization that happened both public and private sectors playing a role in the development that uh, started and later on we'll see that uh, in 1991 reforms that happened it was basically uh, more about privatizing globalization and liberalization so that we'll see later on the key projects during this period was launch of jawahar yojgar yojana for rural employment so see again we are talking about rural employment and slowly slowly these schemes only these were the seeds for the manrega uh, which happened this we have discussed in the previous videos also how during the various five year plans we talk about rural employment we brought various schemes but finally uh, uh, through manrega in 2005 we had uh, manrega which was basically mahatma gandhi national rural employment guarantee act so we converted this scheme into an act which gives people uh, statutory power to demand jobs basically for a set period of time we'll discuss that later emphasis on energy communication and agricultural modi modernization and encouraging smes so now see we are talking about small and medium enterprises so the now we are focusing on the private sector also had we done this much before i guess our manufacturing sector would have grown better in the initial phases but uh, somehow we missed this and we started talking about it very late uh, so now we are talking about it but still no significant uh, you know policy improvement uh, that we'll understand later also ki how we failed here achievements uh, gdp growth was 6% since we privatized we early privatization was allowed private sector was given a role so see our growth rate improved rural employment increased uh, poverty reduced uh, to some extent telecommunication and it sector also grew so there was some growth in the technological sectors also the critic and failures of this five year plan was that fiscal deficit was again rising because there was no control on the public expenditure uh, we could not generate enough revenues also through tax or non tax means widening regional disparities some regions some states in the country were developing more faster than the other states so regional disparities was uh, increasing rural poverty persisted so despite jawahar yojana uh, jawahar rozgar yojana and other schemes uh, uh, rural poverty still uh, persisted because ultimately people did not have meaningful employment which will reduce their poverty so uh, this problem still continues in some way uh, however now we are focusing more on skill development and providing rural employment in terms of self employment and other opportunities through self help groups etc there are many schemes uh, but still rural poverty exists now there was again break in planning during 1990 92 um, this was not basically a planned holiday but it was a break uh, you know uh, because of some global factors and also uh, some of the things that happened in india uh, during this period there was a balance of payment crisis in in our country this will discuss later what exactly is balance of payment crisis uh, about balance of payment we have studied it in our prelims videos um, uh, i hope you have seen my prelim series so about balance of payment i have discussed and explained in uh, detail there what exactly it is so there was a kind of crisis situation with our balance of payment basically in short if i have to tell you balance balance of payment crisis means that when our exports is not able to pay for our imports okay so we do not have sufficient foreign currency to buy our imports our essential imports so that is the balance of payment crisis this kind of situation had arisen in pakistan also in a very recent past uh, where again this was discussed so we had taken help of imf during that time and we had to uh, you know abide by certain conditions given by imf also so this entire detail we are going to discuss in some other video uh, so break in planning happened during this period because of this balance of payment crisis 
there was political instability again uh, you know uh, rajiv gandhi uh, got assassinated uh, some years ago and uh, uh, there was some political instability there was no leadership which could take up uh, the uh, you know country uh, to lead the collapse of several governments in the world throughout so ussr which was uh, you know led by russia so it had fallen onset of the gulf war also happened so all these different factors affected our economy there was balance of payment crisis of 1991 introduction of short term stabilization programs under the imf guidance this i have already told you reforms like lpg came lpg is liberalization privatization and globalization we'll discuss about these reforms again in detail later focus on fiscal discipline trade liberalization and deregulation of industries so imf had uh given us a loan to uh kind of uh you know fight with our balance of payment crisis but along with the loan of the imf certain conditions also are are imposed on our, on us so one of the conditions that imf had imposed was basically to have fiscal dis- discipline that you can have this much uh you know fiscal deficit you can have this much government spending you can have this much uh, government debt etc trade liberalization had to be done because now we want uh, you know more private sector to play part and to have easier imports and exports and certain industries had to be deregulated deregularized uh, from government control so these were some of the important decisions that were taken during this period once this difficult phase had passed again in 1992 to 1997 this five year we had our eighth five year plan which we are going to discuss in this video now uh focus area and economic policy of this 8th 5 year plan was first one was of course the lpg policy post 1991 crisis shift from state control to a market oriented one now we are moving from a state control socialist kind of economy to a more of the market oriented economy that more private sector will take part prioritized poverty alleviation so poverty alleviation had become an important goal for the government now generation of employment and self reliance so most of the goals almost remain same over a period of time but now we are taking some actual action key projects where industrial policy 1991 was introduced to help private sector uh, develop their industries major reforms in the industrial sector by bringing the industrial policy of 1991 new economic policy nep which is famous deregulation and reduction of trade barriers had also come then uh, you know what was this industrial policy of 1991 so basically in this we had abolished industrial licensing so previously there was a lot of licensing and permit raj was there a lot of licensing requirement was there it was abolished de reservation of pub- for public sector lot of sectors were reserved for public sector for example um heavy for example a cement will be manufactured only by public sector enterprises and no private person can manufacture cement so this is an example now it was de reserved so even now the private people can do it encouragement of foreign investment so we started attracting foreign investment by having attractive policies foreign technology agreements mrtp act regulation okay uh disinvestments small scale sector promotion so now we are focusing on small scale sector also small and medium enterprises industrial sickness resolution so there were certain sick units of the uh, of the government which and also of the private sector which uh, which had to uh, be given some resolution plan as to how they can exit the market how uh, how they can uh, either again rejuvenate or they can at least be Uh, dissolved in a proper way so this all these things were brought in now um, uh, you know uh, so this was the economic policy of 1991 which was brought uh, uh, before just before this five year plan and it became a major uh, you know uh, backdrop of this five year plan and we'll see that there are certain uh, important achievements that happened during this period so one was that our growth rate increased significantly to 6.7% uh, which was never seen before uh, because of increased fdi so foreign direct investment had increased because of this new policy 
enhanced productivity or productivity improved because obviously when the private sector participates there are more innovations uh, productivity will improve more technological advancements will happen competition in the industry increased poverty levels began to decline so now real poverty uh, reduction alleviation started during this period when actually we uh, moved towards the market oriented approach critic of this plan was that there was increase in inequality so obviously when private sector comes in it will be more profit oriented so some people will become more rich and some people will not gain from it so there was increase in inequality although poverty reduced regional disparities again some regions developed uh, some states developed more than the others benefits largely to the urban centers so more most of the benefits were to the urban centers big cities and not in the rural india economic reforms reduced social spending and left rural areas behind so uh, our focus was not much on rural spending so rural areas still remained behind although poverty rates started falling uh, so we now we are seeing that you know we had we have moved from a state control to a kind of mixed economy to a kind of more into market oriented economy so this is the background with which we have worked over a period of time this is important for you to understand we'll continue in one more video we'll finish about all the five year plans how planning uh, you know was then aborted uh, after the 12th five year plan and we move towards niti aayog so that we are going to discuss in the in the from the next video so thank you very much